game with uh, Calgary double-A uh, Bantam team against the Whitby A Bantam team. It's the uh, final game of the year for the Whitby team and uh, it's a tune-up game for the uh, Calgary team coming in from out west. They wanted to get in an exhibition game before they got into a tournament that they're uh, registered in locally. This is their first game. Uh, they just arrived this morning, right? Yeah, yeah they just flew in today and uh, they're trying to get their legs before they get into their serious competition. So we're obliging them with an exhibition game. It should be interesting. They're a large team. Uh, can't tell how mobile they are yet, but uh, double-A team should be pretty good skating. Anyway, we got Reed in the corner digging the puck, trying to find a man in front. And Calgary breaks out with uh, a pass out center to number nine, Corinth. Nine now breaking down the right side, throws it in front, Laniger tips it away, and a slap shot stopped by Visconti. Now we got Brent Johnson with the puck in the corner, chips it up, but he can't get it out. Number nine, Horan, again with the puck, takes a hard shot, misses the net. Mark Reed waiting on the board, circles back. Stevens chips it up. And Laniger can't get it out. There's a little bit of pressure already. Webb wants the puck. Laniger, they, they seem to have trouble there. Their first line getting out of the end. Brent Johnston bumped on the boards. Fitzgibbon back to the point. 
that's given of the Calgary team knocks it back in as they go for a change. Whitby gets some open ice as Calgary's changing, but they can't get out. Laniger now throws the puck up ice and they go for a whip, uh, line change. We've got uh, Shane Terry hustling over and St. Ange cuts through the middle and can't pick the puck off. Harrison misses the man at the blue line and Justin St. Ange kicks it up in his feet and can't control it. And Calgary hit back the other way with Man Manitowich knocking the puck in. Nielsen for Calgary back at the point. And Harrison gets the puck knocked off and back Visconti, the whippy goalie, holds it for a faceoff. Scrambly yet, a little bit of pressure, but uh, I think that they have pretty good legs. Yeah, they look like they're a strong skating team. Yeah. I think it could be a, a bit of a tough game for the Whitby home team, but uh, uh, it's early in the game yet. We'll see okay. how it goes. It's only the second shift of the game. They're back to the point number 15 with a low wrist shot that was really no problem for this Connie to handle. He just stopped it with a stick and covered it up. That was Jeffries with a point shot. Hamilton on defense, also for uh, Calgary. And number seven on the draw, Nielsen. Robinson flips it up to St. Ange. St. Ange goes for open ice down the far side. Robinson heads to the net and Terry trails the play. He's under pressure there. St. Ange is knocked down and he can't gain his feet. Uh, we got number 15, Jeffries carrying the puck up, along with Manitowich and Hamilton breaking in. It's uh, number four, Smith on the left side. Shane Terry bumped off the puck. And they run their man in from the point and uh, Shane Terry is knocked to the ice. Justin St. Ange with a bit of speed knocks it up to Robinson, can't handle the puck. And uh, they can't seem to get going past center ice. Too much action down here for the Whippy team. Some open ice for Robinson and a poor pass going up through the middle. Brad Harrison knocks it outside the blue line, and Shane Terry does a little bit of checking, but Calgary just throw it in deep, go in to do some forechecking. We got McElhaney out there now, Chad Parker, and Steve Austin. And they haven't, can't finish that line change yet, as Terry can't get off, as the Whippy team can't get out of their own end. A shot now by number six, Comfort, for Calgary. Calgary's really controlling the play for a bit, uh, handling the puck quite well, and they knocked the puck, the net off for a stoppage of play, and, and they seem to be a, a good skating team, which can easily match our team. There goes Gigwire with a move down the right side, throws it in towards the net, and nobody seems to know where the puck is. The gold is right here. underneath the board. underneath the board where the uh, Zamboni machine comes onto the ice. And they're going to gather a new pot. <laughs> got four of them. What are you doing, you little shit? Marching. Back to number eight on the face off to McDonald for Calgary. Breaks out to number nine, Horan. Shipped out, Stevie Austin chases his man. And uh, Calgary attempts to shoot it in and fanned on the shot. Cross ice pass, Chris Stevens with the puck, and he mishandles it. We have, uh, must have some nervous boys out there. I think so. <laughs> They're mishandling the They're puck a bit. They're feeling each other. Yeah. McElhaney can't handle it. We got a lot of mishandles so far early in the game. That's uh, a bad sign. There goes uh, Chris Stevens around the outside to McElhaney, across to Austin, and Gigwire just misses the relay. Smiling. Anyway, on play, Matt Visconti's trying to smother the puck, and he does as uh, Calgary again drives to the net. Oh, the line now change. we have a line yeah. change, yeah, John, uh, with uh, Mark Reed, Paul Webb, and Laniger coming out as the forward unit. Uh, with uh, Parker, Parker, and uh, Brent Johnston on defense. Laniger off the face off, loses it, and Johnston flips it up. A little soft, he can't get it out, but Paul Webb pushes it up. Laniger going up, two on one, finds Reed. Their first shot. First goal. Net, take the lead in the game. Mark Reed on a nice set up there. And uh, uh, up the ice. Webb to uh, Laniger, who relayed a shot. I 
think they and got, I think that's what they have to do is yeah. work the breakout and find the open man because they caught the goalie off guard a little bit, I think. He's pretty disappointed. Could have had a big fight. At least we know they're not going to be shut out. Maybe that'll get them rolling, get them some confidence. Well, I think they'll get a flow to the game. Now, uh, well, there's been no flow. It's all been in the whip behind. And then that's you'll see the shot. On both sides. They're both good teams here. Well, I think they, for some reason, they appear to be nervous. Uh, I haven't seen them. That might loosen them up and get them playing with the hockey like you know how to do. Yeah, Move the puck around. We got number 10 moving it in. And then again, we oh, can't get Ren carried Johnson away because that into team his man. Calgary looks pretty good. So uh, I think Parker with the puck, knocks it up to Reed, blocks off of him, and Reed's uh, stripped of the puck, and Johnston circles behind the net. Can't shake a man. Number 12, Graco, with doing some forechecking. Johnston hits the ice. Number 12, Gracko with a shot on the ice. Beats this to tie goal. it up quickly. That's it, I told you. These guys are... These guys are pretty. They know how to shoot the puck. Side. Shane Perry loses the face off and Calgary breaks straight up the ice. Number 20, the defenseman, Fitzgibbon. Harrison rings it around the boards and it doesn't make it out to the point. Again, he takes a big hit and still can't move it up. A Calgary team, good skating team with lots of pressure on the defense, coughing the puck up. Okay. The tying goal by uh, Calgary was number 12, Gracco, from number 10, Chimler, and 11, Hamilton. Stevens takes a hit. Shane Terry's covering his man. And he comes up with the puck. And he flips it up and he can't find St. on the right side. It's knocked into the stands for another stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they know what size your feet are now, John. You don't have to show them anymore. <laughs> uh, St. Terry again can't win the face off. Stevens uh, picks the loose puck up, but Calgary again stepped in from the blue line. Uh, nice they're, they're... Oh, nice relay out front for a shot on net by 19. I wish he'd put him in order. Dodging horse. Number 19. They keep shooting on them like that. They'll be getting some goals, I'll tell you. Dodging horse. We've had at least 10 shots on that so far. Now we have a line change with Austin centering uh, Gigwire and McElhaney. Parker wraps the puck around and uh, <laughs> Zach Aiken didn't move for it. McElhaney trying to get the puck out. And Zach Aiken steps into his man. McElhaney just flips it out. But he doesn't seem to be able to get their breakout working and finding a man open. They're just, just chipping it out without even trying to set a play up right now. Comes McElhaney with a bit of room. Finds Gigwire with some speed going down the outside. Stops goes across the middle and McElhaney couldn't pick it up. Now number 16 for Calgary breaks out. Up to number 18. Manitowich, back up to 18, Manitowich, throws it in, and Aiken there just throws it right back out. Big wire forward checking, and it's chipped in by Manitowich with Smith going in to do some forward checking. Oh, he steps into uh, Aiken nicely. Parker clears it outside the blue line. Knocked back in by number 12. Greco. Parker, again, does not move the puck out. McElhaney squeezes his man into the board. Aiken behind the net, throws it up the boards, picked off by Greco. Greco back of the net to his teammate, and again knocks it back of the net to his teammate. Number six, Comfort. 
Schindler now, the line that scored the goal before, throwing it around nicely with Comfort coming up with a nice backhander on net. This Connie was equal to the task. They're setting up uh, with a familiar play we've seen from the Whitby team offensively behind the net. Now Aiken can't handle the puck. And Calgary again, forechecking all the pressure on the Whitby team, all the play virtually in the, in the Whitby, inside the Whitby blue line in. Uh, McLean tries to get it out, he can't. Aiken finds uh, the puck, throws it up. McLean, he now breaking over the line. Hard low wrist shot. And a stop for the uh, Calgary goalie. Manager so cutting off his man, and Comfort goes to Schindler, and Comfort go off for a rest. Laniger with the puck there, breaks out. Breaks down the right side, throws it in front to Mark Reed, going to the net. And then Hawk goes to the stop. He's led now with the puck, throws it towards the net. Mark Reed steps into his man on a nice takeout. And Chris Stevens. Mishandled the puck, but recovered by Chip, chipping it out. Laniger takes a jump at his man. Chris Stevens again with the puck, knocks off the board, and misses Mark Reed with the relay. Webb trying to forecheck. Mark Reed, but he can't come out. Calgary breaking out two on two, and Chris Stevens got uh, beaten on the right side. And Matt Viscani lunges out to... Uh, Seven blue. Number seven is Nielsen, caught for tripping. He's coming he in with in. us. Oh, I need room. We got a film of penalty. Now we have a power play. We still have Laniger, Reed, Webb, Brent Johnston, and Chris Stevens. Off the face off, Smith. Still trying to work the puck and Mark Reed. Slips by his man and tells the throw in the front of Webb, but he didn't get him. Webb now with the puck. Handle it again. Not used to the speed and the pressure right there. Yeah. Yeah. Better be used to it because they're moving to the double A level next year where they'll find a little quicker and uh, bigger players. So it's a good uh, experience for them oh, yeah, to play out. Uh, well, with the Whitby being upgraded to double A next year, uh, they will have to upgrade their play to be competitive. And it's a good chance. Now St. Ange will get the puck out of the boards. Slipped by his man. That's Shane Terry, sorry. Close to the net. Looking for a man in front. And Johnston with a hard low shot. Into Webb. Oh, and that's the end time for Webb from the corner. St. Terry now on the point. Back into Webb, into the corner. Back to the net to St. Ong. And uh, he really gave it to a man to cover, which is unusual. Steven steps into his man. Manitowicz, number 18. And St. Ong's knocked him off the puck. Lucky he didn't get caught. We got Johnston now trying to find a hole and runs right into. Uh, Calgary player, Robinson steps up to do four checks, but he uh, couldn't get there in time. We got a delay here, number two for Calgary, Barron throws it up, and Parker knocks it in. Robinson steps into his man, and Harrison goes all the way back behind the net. Can't find anyone, Robinson had hopped over his stick. St. Ons had a puck shot at him, and uh, Whippy team's got to get the passing together. They're going to make the goal. Up to Robinson, who takes a, a hit. St. Ange, finding Terry, breaking down. Terry, back to St. Ange. Oh, and he can't get the shot away. It's a good defensive move. He's opening up some speed and some skating now. Uh, Brad Harrison turns on the puck and then goes down the ice. 
in the top right. And well, now we have still St. Ange, Terry, and Robinson, and Harrison, and Parker on the point. And, uh, well, we're seeing some better hockey right now. The guys uh, seem to uh, know each other and they know what they have to do. Well, I think maybe the penalty opened up a little skating room. We'll have to see if the play ends up back down in the Whitby. But we did get a little skating finally there on the Whitby team, which they're going to have to do to compete at this level. But you've got to skate. That's the name of the game when you get up to the high caliber of skating. And, uh, if we can do that, we might be able to keep this game uh, exciting and close. Yeah, Shot you around. Aiken holds it on the point. Throws it in front. Robinson couldn't find it. St. Terry got stripped. And uh, break out three on two. Four on two now for, for Calgary. But this is not a good play when you're going four on two to take a slap shot from the blue line as it blows a pretty good offensive rush. But I gather he didn't know. He had some teammates with him. But getting some instruction now from the coach as to... Uh, his play there. I'm sure he's being told that that's not an ideal situation taking a slap shot outside the blue line when you're going a four on two rush. Yeah, and even teams, especially there. Penalty's over now. Yeah, number eight there on the free shot for Calgary back. Shot it in, and it's whistled down. McDonald. I think so far they're only feeling each other, wondering uh, who they're playing against. Uh, Especially our guys, uh, looking at these guys, they're pretty big. Well, it might be an advantage for us. They may be tired after a trip in there. We might get a, an opportunity to uh, bring our play up towards the end of the game. Now we have Gigwire trying to forecheck. They're a good, solid team. They're not... Uh, no, they're not rough. They're not rough, team. and I haven't seen any any cheap shots or anything. Austin, with a move out the front, gets out. And the McElwain, he can't handle the puck. Calgary over to 9-8 Hamilton. I believe that is back to 11. Nice shot on that That's stop by Visconti right. and another stop stop by Visconti. We got a goalie's doing a good job there because these guys can pass the puck all right. McElhaney now trying to chase down the lead puck. And he does. And then takes a bump as it's whistled down on an offside. Face off uh, loses the draw. And Calgary goes up. McElhaney steps into his man and gets his arms up. Calgary's points seem to really know when to step up into the rush, and they create some good chances again. Just shot wide under a sprawling Visconti. Stevens picks good the puck up. Play, though. Yeah, oh yes, they, they move the puck well, and they seem to know when to step up into the play. And again, here's a guy with a good shot from the slot. We got Gigwire. And Parker. Up to Gigwire. McLean to Gigwire. Olsen now with the puck up to the number four Smith. And it's given over skates it. And number four Smith breaks down the right side. Into the corner. Being squeezed out by Laniger. And Webb and Mark Reed. Mark Reed now cuts to the center, but didn't find Webb breaking, and uh, that goes back there. Webb, Ryan Lanager shoots it back into the corner. And captain there, Olsen again. Over to Smith on the boards, and uh, Lanager falls down on the puck, and it's quickly whistled down and stop the play. Whippy zone, but yeah. again, they're equal to the path so far on the scoreboard, and that's the, uh, I, yeah, the bottom line. Yeah, but the has been... Uh, yeah, Matt Visconti's had a strong first good. period holding the Whippy team. Getting a lot of shots. Yeah. Uh, Chris Stevens knocks it into the corner. Laniger up to Reed. Reed mishandles, but chips it up to Webb. Webb can't pick the puck up. Laniger tries to step into his man and misses him. Number 12, Draco. Calgary up to 16 who throws it up ice and Parker throws it all across the ice for Webb. Webb tries to uh, fancy backhand pass that didn't work because uh, Jeffries just stepped in and picked it off. Now we got Mark Reed on the whistle. Well, that's the first period. This is tied 1-1. So uh, what do you think? 
Well, I think that that's a flattering score for the edge in play, but uh, when you get good goaltending, you can often uh, uh, hold into games where you're not quite equal to the task as the other team. And uh, Matt Visconti is definitely uh, helping the Whitby team maintain an even score. What do you predict in the game, though? What, uh, well, I don't know. It looks like be... I think the, the Whitby team is gathering a little more skating, and uh, possibly if the Calgary team gets a little tired later in the game, it could remain a close contest, or maybe the Whitby team will get rolling again with uh, some good chances. But they've only had, I think, three, maybe four shots on net with gathering one goal. They're going to have to shoot more than that. That's right. They're going to have to uh, pass by uh, uh, they have they they're, they're having trouble breaking well. up. The defense yeah. is uh, having a hard time with the pressure and the size of the, uh, of the opposition team and speed. Uh, they're definitely not getting much time, and uh, they're not able to find the uh, the winger or a breaking centerman to move it out quickly. If they can get that going, uh, the breakout's the problem because a lot of plays in the end, they have to get out. Well, they know what they have to do right now. The draw. I think the Whitby team's lost most face-offs. Well, I'd say the uh, Calgary team's been in struggle. and couldn't get it out. And here comes oh, a hard rich shot. Oh, just yeah, missed. Just about. Robinson again can't pick it out. One hand on his stick and it's lifted easily off the ice. Finally knocked out. Leon bounces by it. The puck bounces by it. And Jack Aiken throws it up. And he can't get it out there. The instinct of the player seems to be pretty good. Robinson with the puck finds Shane Terry. Shane one Terry on one. breaking down one on one. Oh, and stripped down. Couldn't find Robinson behind the net to give him the puck. Calgary now break out. Nice rush by number 16, Leg. That's hard into uh, Aiken. Shane Terry back to help him out. And Aiken, he's still working. Finds number four, Smith. Robinson gets the loose puck. He tries to hit St. Ange breaking out just, just ahead of him. Knocked in again, under pressure. Whippy team has a tremendous amount of pressure. <laughs> Harrison gets a stick wrapped up around number 11 of Calgary and he get, got away with it. Aiken now behind the net. Gave it away to uh, number 11. He got knocked to the ice after the giveaway. And Whippy team now is coming up for the penalty. Oh, we can't, number two, uh, forget White the... Aiken. These guys are a champion of their own province. Yeah, so, uh, double A champions, you know. and they're showing they're doing they're they're pretty good strong team. skating and uh, a well organized team. They look to understand the game pretty good. So. Well, they'll have the advantage now. We're getting the penalty. Whitby's getting the penalty. Yeah. Power play now for the uh, Calgary team. Yeah, it's leading the score. Yeah, got Smith, Nielsen. 11 Hamilton on the forward unit for Calgary. Brent Johnson behind the net. Didn't have his speed of motion, just throws it out. Picked off the Can't get it out though. Didn't get any of the three points on the puck there. Nielsen, Manitowit, and Chris Stevens can't get it out. Again, too soft. It's not going to come out unless you get it or something a little harder on it. Block in front by Johnson. Chris Stevens with the puck. Bands on it. Working two men for checking him. Smith, one time up front. Again, made stop by Johnson. Smith with the puck behind the net. Chris Stevens uh, had a slip between his feet. Smith being going off the post. Stevie Austin tries to lift the stick and get it out. Johnston wraps it, and Austin wraps it and can't get it out. Calgary seems very strong holding the puck in with the point men. Visconti with a nice shot. Back to the point. Arisha Visconti with another nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> he's been a workhorse in there and uh, definitely earning his strength. Oh, so far, he's keeping them in, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think the other uh, Calgary team is going to have a few shaking heads and wonder when the next goal gets to appear. Yeah, <laughs> Hoping take. that maybe they'll get lucky and the next guy won't be as hot. As, uh, yeah, let's bring that goalie with us for the next uh, yeah, the tour. It's funny. It looks like he's injured on that play. It looks like possibly a hand injury. It might have been a hard shot catching him in the wrong spot. Maybe a leg. No, he's bending his, uh, his leg, so I think maybe he's trying to loosen it.
Okay, all set. And Fitzgibbon. Fitzgibbon on the point. With a shot that was blocked by Hufflander. Finds Gabewire breaking, but he could not handle it. The goalie for uh, Calgary, number one, we haven't heard him much, Witt, and just pushes it into the corner. Gigwire there, back at the point, and Laniger trying to do some forechecking. Cuts his man off and forces him to mishandle. Draco, again, mishandles and Gigwire holds him. Now we're getting some good forechecking by the Whitby team. Yes, that's the way to do it. Forechecking, and it's the Calgary team has been doing all game. Break out with a long, hard shot by Kirkwood. Parker wraps it around to get it down the ice. Laniger uh, does some forward checking and uh, Simon Gigwire goes off for a rest. Mark Reed now out there. He finds the puck and knocks it in. Laniger steps up. Looking for uh, Reed, but he's bumped off the puck nicely by Fitzgibbon, number 20. Laniger still for checking. Good, good work by Laniger on this shift. Number, number 10, Comfort, I believe, is similar for Calgary. Throws it in. And eight. And a nice shot. Parker finds it. Rushes up through the middle, three on two. It's stripped of the puck and just throws it up. Parker again with the puck, mishandles it. So Stevens um, plays the puck and the man goes by him. Webb up on forward for this game. Man. Reed. Stevens steps into his man, working hard behind the net. See the call, so I'm not sure whether it was four. We got Austin and Jaguar and the forward Henry Kellers with Stevens and Johnson in the defense there trying to 
cold Calgary team on. Johnston finds an opening and risks it down the ice. Austin down to do some board checking on Olsen, the captain. Austin again, still working to hold it in, and Gigwire picks the puck off. Captain there is coming up across to Comfort. It's given now. Down the right side. Drops it back. Number nine. And Lanigan finds it and hits his man in speed but does clear it outside the zone and takes some of the pressure off. Webb steps up to his man and forces him to hold it, which again delays him getting it in. Steps in, it's given back to the point. Number 19 puts around his man. Back to Olsen. And a nice one-time shot. Stop by the strong. He's had a very strong game. Laniger out over to Fitzgibbon point. Given with a hard shot. Oh, this party is in. I don't know how he saw that puck. And the crowd gives a nice applause for the uh, He was completely blocked by the players. Yeah, and uh, yeah. he seemed to still get his hand to find that puck as it was going up to the top corner up there. He still has Stevens and Webb on the ice, and Lanigan's replaced by Mark Reed, the captain. Two seconds left in the first penalty to Robinson. And a minute and two left in the second penalty. Reed off the face off. Back to the point. Sharon. He's now uh, holding it. Uh, with his content to have him hold it back at the point. Reed still in between in the slot. Sharon back on the left side. Uh, they're just moving on the point. They don't seem to want to move it in deep. And uh, that's okay. A long wrist in finally gets in deep. And uh, McDonald. Well wide of the net for Calgary. Number two, Robinson back to uh, chip the puck up to the blue line, held in by Leg. And they're calling that offside. Uh, down one man for the Whippy team. Still a tie game. McElhaney now after his man with the there. Stevens can't get it by his man. Fields is number seven, and Manitowic, 18. Calgary back to Terrence on the point. He slips it on the back board, back into Manitowic, across to assistant captain. And I think we have uh, another penalty being called here. This time to Calgary. Either that or it's offsetting. Number two for Calgary. Holding penalty. Now playing four side and get a chance at another small power play. 11 seconds left. We got St. Ange and Terry. St. Terry lost the draw, but St. Ange picked it up. Comes through the middle. He's trying to drag the puck a little bit over to Parker, who's wide open. He risks it in deep. Johnston now racing across for a man change and. Robinson steps out. Aiken back, circles behind his net, whipping with the man in the oh, Throws it in front and then it hits the man in his 
escape. It didn't work well at all. And now, nobody behind the net. With me, definitely. No, we're using our head here. We're set up and play. Uh, uh, Trying to work on it for all year long. Let's try a couple of minutes. And Aiken steps into a nice little Parker without a stick. And he's trying to drop his man. Oh, another oh, bad hit. call. St. On just getting called. So we're getting into a, a steady stream of penalties. Nothing too rough, but it seems to, seem to be slowing the game up a bit. Now we're doing a line change, carrying Robinson, Aiken, and Parker go off, and replaced by Harrison, Stevens, Austin, and Giguard. Hustle by Mac Laney and nice shot finding the corner. He's been a pretty good sniper all year with a ni nice hands and a wrist shot. Nice hands and a shooting is pretty good. The so. goal is a little cold up there, too. He's not uh, getting that many shots. And no, you know, when you're not that I, many I, shot, you... I think that they don't have much more than six or eight shots. Chance was a good one on a breakaway, but. Uh, Again, so we have uh, McDonald carrying it in for Calgary. Knocked off the puck by an athlete and a hard shot from the most point captain of the Calgary team. But Kevin throws the point. Parker is like to go by him and Matthew throws it out right by the Olsen uh, defenseman for Calgary. Hamilton now with the puck. Up to Fitzgibbon. It's given with a bit of room and McLaney hustling to chase him down. Gant goes straight by Johnston there. McLaney with the puck just clears it out of the zone. And maybe uh, pass up the comfort, he couldn't handle it. Parker just clears it out. And the puck's out of play. In the seats. <laughs> yeah, well, I hear them say a lot of stuff, but when you call them on the camera, they don't want to. We've got to juggle line. We've got Shane Terry now with Mark Reed and uh, Webb out there. Great in front of Webb. Oh, and he gets the backhand into the corner. Now a 3-1 lead for the Whippy team. Who got this one? Uh, Paul Webb got that. I believe it was uh, thrown out to him by Mark Reed. We'll see on the announcement. Three one lead, John, and uh, not really indicative of the play, but nonetheless, Calgary's behind with uh, a couple of goals. And we're have a solid goal. I'll tell you, Whitby goal tending to be very strong. Well, our goal has been uh, pretty solid. That's why they're trying to get close to it. Shane Carey now going into the slot. Couldn't get it to Mark Reed as he tried to slip it between the Calgary's uh, feet. Breaks out. Jeff. Uh, what do we got here? Dan dancing cool. Dancing here. Steps hard into Aiken and goes down. Legacy point pulling it in. Reaching out of the door. Back to the point. Number 10 with a hard shot. Oh, Kip Reed. Right 
just wider than that. Now we got Dodgy Horse stepped in. Oh, hard shot. Blocked in front by Aiken. Shane Terry with the puck. Slips it up. And Webb can't get it with the edge of the leg. But there goes Reed. Burst into the net. Oh, and a oh, beautiful shot there. Reed just burst in there to pick up the loose puck. Oh, burst of energy, huh? He's got some speed. Yes. Well, you know, Reed's showing that uh, that's a good part, big part of his game is skating. He's got uh, good speed, and he used that to gain a, a, a breakaway chance. Like nice shot to the upper corner off the post. The goalie really didn't have much of a chance on that. It looks like Whitby's starting to loosen up. Uh, they're not forechecking, but they're uh, skating now, finally getting a little bit of a flow to the game. Perhaps the Calgary team's starting to feel the effects of the uh, following yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Laniger on the face off. Yeah, no, St. Ong's in there. Laniger couldn't keep it in. St. Ong's misses his man with a hit. There goes Hamilton. Across to the right. Hamilton, oh, stepped hard by Jeremy Johnston. Robinson back to help out. And the point is going out to Hamilton. Stevens holds it up. And we got number seven deals for picking this puck up and beating the game. Ryan Unwin. Well, I'll tell you, this game is not out. over. Oh, no, I think that's, you know, you know, these guys have shot too many uh, oh, yeah. they were, shots against our goalie, and they didn't come in. Uh, I mean, they're, they're definitely looking where they're shooting now. Yep. Definitely. Uh, a lot yeah, of play, but in the Whitby zone, Nielsen. This is by number four, Chad Smith, and number 11, Chad Robinson up to Laniger, who just knocks it down inside the uh, Calgary zone. Goes in with some hustle for some forward checking, and St. Odge can't get the angle to pick him off. Shot in by number 15 with a good first to speed. They're definitely a strong skating team. Yeah. The Whiskey team, as you can see, I to play at the double A level. It's going to have to bring up a well, little bit of speed off them. Uh, Playing against a single eight, I mean, it's, it's a difference, but still. Uh, but uh, you got to remember, this uh, single A team is really a double A team now. Even though they play single A this year, the category for Whitby's second team now has been upgraded to double A. Yeah, that's true. Next year, up. Uh, the big difference, uh, if anything, is the skating, the speed, the mobility. And it shows. Gigwire now rushing down, throws it across to McElhaney going to the net. McElhaney circles, comes up with a puck. Nice stop there by the uh, Calgary goalie. And six comfort with nice moves. Stick handling goes wide by uh, Harrison. Matt Laney now with the puck. Backhands it over to Austin. Cuts through the middle. Finds Matt Laney. Oh, and a nice wrist shot. Just goes wide. Yes. Harrison steps up and fires it across. We got McElhaney working on the boards, and it's held in, shot back to Gigwire. Gigwire out to McElhaney on a backhander, stopped by the... Uh... Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, right under the and it's a puck, and uh, Harrison leaves it, and in the net. Number 12 comes out front to Racco, and the under the stops the wraparound play. The Whitby team now is in need of a, a line change. They, they've been out for a while. Uh, they have the tire that's in the ring at this moment. Uh, Harrison gets his stick up and goes. Uh, getting up the nice, uh, Referee with Rick Aaron. He's going to be calling uh, I'm sure a hooking or a tripping ball on there. 14 white. Why sticky? Why sticky? Why sticky? Why sticky? Harrison. Two minutes for high sticky. Time with penalty. 14. Ball there. Yeah. Aiken on defense with Stevens, uh, Mark Reed out, and Shane Terry. Uh, 
probably won 90% of their face-offs. I can't remember a Whippy <laughs> player winning more than one or two face-offs all game. Uh, well, it seems two. to be a skill that they have well over the Whippy team. And I guess we're getting a, a, a cleaning here, John, so we'll take a break for a few minutes. Yeah, and then Calgary will be starting with uh, five man advantage. We got a guy in the penalty box. Another minute and 48 seconds. As the uh, linesman comes up and uh, <laughs> gets himself into the uh, film here in this historical moment. Yeah. <laughs> Get back in the We're game play here, John. Okay, here we are. We got uh, Fitzgibbon knocking in on the point. Mark Reed couldn't pick up the puck. Stevens there knocks it into the corner. Goes in there with Smith for Calgary. Behind the net for Nielsen, seven. Going on the boards, Laniger hustling. Shot across the front of the net. Nobody was there. Johnston flips it, finds the opening, and gets it out and down the ice. Lanager stepped into his man knocking. Oh, oh nice good. save by Unwin. And Chris Stevens was a shot all the way down the ice. Okay, a few more seconds. Well, 34 seconds left in the penalty. And uh, an icing call for the Calgary team brings it back down. it up to number nine. Steps into a hard shot, misses the net by uh, about five feet. Number 15 out front. Get out of my way. Touch me. Get out of my way. Number nine behind the net, Calgary. Out to eight. Finds man of, oh, there nice you go, pass. quickly, nice go. passing. Number 11 finished off a three-way passing three, play four. from I got that at I'm bad luck. Yeah. This game is not over. I'm sure they had a good talk by the yeah. coach. But... Yes. Hamilton from McDonald and Horan. On a nice set up there in front. And uh, Calgary's back in the game now. Down only one goal. They yeah. definitely uh, deserve uh, to be in the game by uh, their play. Unfortunately, they haven't been able to solve the uh, whippy goalies enough to... Uh, well, it would be nice to see uh, a tie. I mean, this is a friendly game anyway. Yeah. Now we have so, uh, Austin and Giguara out there. Calgary, uh, uh, Calgary uh, stepped uh, into a, a quick penalty there. This is uh, number eight, Sean McDonald, and number nine, Jeff Warren. Comfort with the penalty there. <laughs> Just breaks right down the right side, cuts through the middle. A nice rush by Greco. Oh, goes in the box hard as he was knocked down. Uh, he's just uh, whistled the play down as they got a player down on the ice. One more time. One, two, three. Okay, we got in the game. Last to the middle, Gigwire couldn't handle it. Austin backs him up, but he also couldn't pick the puck up. Nielsen with it, throws it up to number 16. Leg breaks down past Chris Stevens, who doesn't let him get by him. But couldn't find his man now up at the point. McElhaney, Johnston blocks the clear in. 
Calgary doing some forward checking here, holding it in the, with the end, and uh, Johnson just throws it out without trying to find a man. Smith. Forward checking. And number 16, Calgary, again with the puck behind the net, does a wrap around and uh, Unwin holds him. That was leg. McElhaney picks up the puck. Finds Big Wire with a nice pass. And Big Wire on his own. And, uh, Come on, guys, help it! Pass is nice to Smith. Smith with a burst of speed goes outside, holds the puck. And Aiken uh, tries to knock him down. Point shot, Smith in front. 19 seconds only left in the penalty for the Whitby team. Uh, they'll have to get a quick break out. A uh, oh, good portion of that penalty was uh, spent in the Whitby zone. Is, uh, Calgary again showing their ability to forecheck and pressure the Whitby team, even down a man. Now we got St. Ange, Shane Carey, and Robinson on forward with uh, Harrison and Aiken on the point. Harrison now with the puck. Comes up through the middle. He slows the play up, fires it in, but he slows the play up, didn't have in. Justin St. On draws the puck on the board, spins by his men on the ice, throws it back to the point. Aiken. Whitby with all their men behind the net, nobody in front. Look, three men all behind the red line. Again, if you want to score, you got to throw one man in front, I think. This would be a good play. Number 17 for Calgary. Breaks down the right side. Back in the slot to number eight. Fans on the shot. Robinson chips it away. And Unwin, with a scramble in front, squeezes the puck and holds it. Defense is changing. You got Parker and Stevens now replacing Aiken and uh, Harrison. set up behind the net. But with three guys behind the net, I don't know that there's much chance to score a goal unless you can wrap around. St. Ange now being pressured. Stevens can't handle it. And it goes clear to number eight. He's looking for a man in front. Parker kicks it away. Terry up to St. Ange. Backhands it to Terry. He breaks down the right side. And uh, Robinson moves up the four check on the 20. St. Ange picks off a clearing pass. And Calgary break out nicely there. Manitowicz over, over to Manitowicz, number 18. And Parker trip, trips his feet right out on him as he, as he got beat there to the outside and took his feet down. Uh, I think the speed's showing because a lot of the penalties, it's not been rough, mainly because you're not getting a lot of board play. With the speed there, with the defense is finding they're having to take the players down with uh, some trips and hooks. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, clear opportunities are coming. Well, I guess uh, Calgary to uh, hide this game right now. Yeah. We have uh, McDonald. <laughs> At center, back to Jeffries on the point. He takes a shot and then it hits uh, Johnston in the shin pads. And he holds up Mark Reed up there. Put pressure on Hamilton, the defenseman. In the 19, uh, dancing horse with a hard shot. It's got a very nice shot, that uh, number 19. Hasn't been able to find the target yet. Center, dancing horse, and uh, number nine, Jeffries, I believe. No, oh, that's Horan, number nine. Yeah, Jeffries on the point, number 15. We got Aiken throws it up ice to find Laniger, but he couldn't get any room. Aiken again finds a hole, steps oh, into his man, and uh, it's the puck down the ice. Mark Green helps him to get some points, I think. Number 11, almost stripped to the puck. Dancing horse again with a hard shot, well up over the net and wide. Jeffries throws it in, and Johnston read the play nicely and just brings it out down the left side. Number 11 there, tripped up, going through middle, Hamilton. Stevens throws it away, 
Takes a hard low shot, misses the net. It's number eight. McDonald. Puffing in again to do some four checking. Steps into Stevens and clears the puck up there on the boards. Jeffrey throws it in. Johnson tries to get it out, but he couldn't. Knocks off a stick and Unwin holds the puck. Get a stoppage of play and some fresh uh, penalty killings out. Some 40 seconds left, John, and uh, well, uh, four-three lead still for the Whippy team. Uh, would be nice to think. Well, I think that uh, I think they'll tie it up. Well, uh, I'm sure there's going to be some pressure and some uh, chances yet for the Calgary team. I would say uh, they they want to stay as a friendly team. I mean, that's their first game. Oh here. yeah. Plus, I think they're getting treated to a pizza after this. Yeah, <laughs> some kind of a, a bonus. And I'm sure they're pretty hungry. Foreign, foreign to whatever, Ferenc. Up to Smith, back to Ferenc, he misses him. Chris Stevens. Oh, oh the work we got it. The referee. Oh, wow. Webb up there to try and the sit him in the puck. And Shane Terry <laughs> kicks it up off his feet. Pushed in from behind by Jeffries. And uh, he's being roughed up a little bit. Number four, Smith, big boy there, cuts through the middle, and Webb strips him of the puck and creates an offside. We don't need anybody in the cover box right now. at center between McElhaney and uh, Giguar. Austin wins the faceoff, but wins it to leg of uh, Calgary, who just pushes it up to Smith. Being muscled a little bit by McElhaney. Shot in behind. Parker finds a hole and shoots it outside the rookie zone. Giguar up to do some four checking. Ferentz quickly relays it to Smith. Slips, can't get by Parker. Again, creates an offside. It's a good place for the Whippy uh, defense to stand up and take away a bit of the speed and the puck handling of the Calgary team. Uh, get a few offsides to slow the play down a little bit. Uh, Whippy, actually, all things considered, uh, being a Calgary team, being double-A champions, the Whippy team showed fairly well, especially on the scoreboard, holding a lead in the uh, middle of the third period. Uh, been outplayed a bit, but nonetheless, the scoreboard indicates that the Whippy team is the better one right now. And that's uh, the bottom line. <laughs> of course, there's still time left. We'll see. Yeah, 7.34 left. Yeah. Yeah. Now we have Comfort out there, number six uh, for Calgary, number 12, Racco, and number 10, Chimler. Number 17, the captain, takes a shot in. That's off the back of the Whippy net. And Parker wires it around the boards. And McElhaney chips it out. Shot back in by Calgary. Parker over skates, but recovers the puck. Goes cross ice, but it put it right on Chimler's stick. Chimler again steps around Parker. Finds, slipped it in front. Oh, and a nice stop by Unwin. Nice beat. The Aiken steps in to clear the puck from the slot. And Austin fires it up, and by gets it out. I'll get the pressure off. Of Comfort with the puck for Calgary throws it up to number 12. It couldn't handle it. And number 12, McLean, he uh, holds it in. Austin putting pressure on uh, Calgary captain number 20, Fitzgibbon. Up to Greco, stepped into a hard shot. Unwin does the splits and knocks it out. And holds the puck there to slow the play up. Checking was interfered with. Didn't get a call from the referee. No, the referee's the far side. Perhaps didn't see it. St. Ange first over the line. Cuts outside. Still able to handle the puck through traffic. Got the back, but he could not find a man. And there goes Calgary. Four man rush up the ice. Couldn't clear it though. No. Oh, hard low shot by Jeffries. Missed the net. Now we got Brent Johnston, Robinson clears it up and finds Shane Terry. Nice move by Terry, we're going down two on one. Terry and St. On. Find St. On driving to the net. Oh, yes! Go for the whippy to get that two goal margin. Nice uh, relay up nice from uh, 
Parker's getting a call there for uh, tripping, I believe. Uh, Whippy defense has had a hard time handling the speed, and uh, again, they have to take the players down illegally. They have to gear up for a higher level of hockey next year, handle the higher speed and size yeah. of the, of the high caliber players. But that's the name of the game. Build your game and learn to uh, improve it to compete at the level you're working at. Got Mac Laney out there penalty killing with uh, Austin. Stevens and Webb holding the uh, blue line duties there. Webb with a high backhand. And Mac Laney couldn't pick up the loose puck. Number six, Comfort back to 12. Net, Fitzgibbon in the corner. Back to eight. Back of the net to 12. Calgary. Number 12, Greco, putting the pressure strong on player, the back to Fitzgibbon on the point, trying to find Greco beside the net. Webb pushes him off the puck. Comfort circling in the corner. And we have another penalty coming up. Oh, I'm sorry, that's uh, that's the net off, stopping the play. That provides an opportunity to change lines for the uh, Calgary team. Changing faster now as the game wears on. Well, it's a time difference for them also, huh? like it's, uh, uh, yeah, they've I'm, had a long day, yeah. I mean, they've had to get up early this morning, and uh, you can understand why they could be a little tired. Yeah. And it's yeah. their first game. Yeah. Uh, they, Dancing horse trying to circle around Steven, just squeezes him out, but he's being double teamed in there and couldn't hold him. Webb chips, just redirects the puck by, Austin trying to get it. Web fans on the on the clearing attempt. Comfort couldn't handle the relay in front of the net. Hamilton with a hard shot from the point. Number nine. Dancing horse with a wrist shot. Blocked by the defense. Dodging horse. Still dodging horse working in the corner. Oh, you go front. McDonald. Number 11, Nielsen, and McWaney breaks out. Hard long shot. Slide to uh, looking for a slide, and McWaney goes off for a line change. And Big Wire steps in to help out, and Austin comes off, and Shane Terry comes off. Nice stop by Unwin as he goes for the far corner. Shane Terry finds a hole and rifles it down the ice. And Gigwire picks up the puck with some great stuff. Just missed the net on a nice chance there for 
good wire. Now we have our good wire out there for checking. Shane Terry trying to take the man off the puck. Can he fans on it? Uh, Chris Stevens on there. Oh, nice stop by Unwin as they took a hard shot off his block. Now they're uh, working in the corner. Shane Terry couldn't get it and finds open man, number 18, couldn't get it on the net. Jeffries, number 18 again. Manitowicz circles in front. Simon Gigwire back to help out. Knocks it off the board and out. Uh, Shane Terry now takes down the ice to see if he can put some pressure on number two. Back there to get some uh, back checking in. As the Manitowicz uh, cruises through the middle. Robinson knocks him off and Johnston finishes him off. <laughs> Shane Terry with the puck. He's hit hard and knocked to the ice. Johnston up, finds Robinson with the puck. Number four, Smith, knocked by Shane Terry. Number 16 now with a burst of speed leg. Oh, nice rush by Leg. Yes, finished yeah, off by Nielsen driving to the rebound. Nice rush, good speed. 28 left. Make it a close game again. So, uh, Calgary has worked hard and showed their skating skills, but uh, haven't had as much finish around the net as the Whitby team has. Uh, they still have a minute and a half to gain a tie in uh, this uh, first encounter down here for their boys from Calgary out west, the double-A champions. It's only an exhibition game, uh, it hasn't brought a lot of emotion, but uh, it was only meant to get their legs there before they got into their first tournament, I believe it's coming up on Friday. Webb there, not to fuck up, to number eight. Perry number two, pushes it in, couldn't, couldn't get it in deeply. Here we go, Comfort in the slot. Uh, Unwin with a high stop there on a shot there. Clipped him up in the chest area. Schindler, number 12. Greco, back to the point. Webb was able to cut it off and get out. Reed again showing the speed is definitely at the double A cover. Both flight it hard. That leg made that nice rush to produce the goal last. It hurt, and uh, Mark Reed for the Whippy team slow to get up. I think that uh, Mark Reed's just winded. I'm not too sure if it was a Calgary player, but it looks to be uh, squirming a bit there. Definitely looks to be in some pain. Mark Reed's up. I believe he just got winded. Anybody hurt, that's for sure. Going on his back. He may be just winded also. Oh, he's, he's coming up. up. It's going to be tough at that age. He's going to be slid very hard trying to cut me driving his net there. seem to be a little stiff. Well, back in the game, we got 51 seconds left. Five, four, would be. So, uh, see if they're gonna hold that out. I'm sure they wanna win. After losing, uh, it'll boost their confidence. Uh, Calgary. 
Mark, you see, like, front. again, Mark Reed showing his ability. To a minute ago, on. he's laying on the ice, you know what I mean? You think the guy's really hurt, he comes out and he does something like that. You know what I mean? They recover so fast. That's yeah. a good shape. Johnston there. 25 seconds left. McDonald uh, trying to hustle in and get one last scoring chance for Calgary. Yeah, 17. Cleared out. Gigwire there with the open run. Oh, yes. Finds uh, McElhaney. Trying to take a shot. Uh, was knocked off by uh, Dodging Hort. Dodging Hort. Uh, that's number 11 there for Calgary. Brings it up the board. Say, but That's the end of the game. game. And a whip game. game. Yeah. With a good showing there. A 6-4 score and a win. And uh, a, a pretty good game for the finish off the year for oh, the yeah. game. And, uh, a friendly game. Yes. Yeah. And I guess it's good for us, especially uh, after losing to uh, London. In the uh, finals, finals there so, for the uh, OMHA. We kind of needed that anyway. Yes. MHA finals there, and as they're still helping leg off, it looks like he's still having yeah, trouble he's... shaking that uh, injury off. Oh, big points, Good John. game, guys. Good game. Good work, guys. Play well. Getting ready or what? Is the coffee hot? Get in front, please. Yeah, a hundred shots. Did some of them go in and we didn't uh, we didn't count them or did you stop them all? Yeah. You stopped them all. You did a pretty good job. I'd have to give you uh first star. Where's my pin? Where's my pin? Let's see that pin. What does it say on? Oh, it says Royals has got a crown oh, under it. This is a, this is Wait, a we haven't gotten them. Yeah, where are they? Oh, I see. Which one? Oh, you guys oh, have a pin. This is awesome. Let's see it. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. Zach Aitken's a real idiot. Oh, yes! 
Oh, there it is. Our wonderful team. This is what you got? Oh, yes, it is. Put it in front of the camera so we can see it. What does it say on it? It says, Royals. Well, say all it loud. It says the Royals. Calgary Royals. Calgary Royals. Oh, there, it was a royal finish. Yeah, the guy just brought it over. Yeah, it's a nice pin. No, Mark just wants to pin it on my jacket. He's taking part. Give me one. 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 Do they know that they're having supper here tonight? Yeah. Well, maybe you guys that, should go get them. That intelligent. Oh, that's the one. Yeah. Maybe you guys should go get them because... Uh, they're over there having their own little food. Yeah. Well, let's get the champagne out. Fine committee quarter. Would you like to serve these uh, young fella? Hey, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What? <laughs> Sorry, you got a mouthful. It's okay. I'll let you uh, chew. No, I just threw it down. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to No, he can't see that. <laughs> So you guys had a long flight? Different also. That's your first game. No time to rest. Oh, you played good. I was hoping it would have been a tie, but uh, I figured if we get a tie, it's good enough. You know? Yeah.
pizza, guys. Okay? Or you're just hungry? I always feel good when you guys want you missed tickets back now, Matthew. Matthew? From Whitby there. I'd like to interview you guys from Whitby. Come on over here. I'm just wondering if you're going to get uh, your coach to take you to Calgary next year. I want to see if you guys can uh, talk your coach into taking you to Calgary next year. Okay? There you go. Free scoop. Okay, not too close. How about it? How about it? How about if we talk to our coach and see if we can organize a game against Calgary, against these guys I, against next year? <laughs> Would you like to go there? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. 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 Guys, uh, if you're gonna pay for a trip. If, who's going to pay for the trip? You. Oh, I see. Oh, well, I don't have that kind of money. But anyway. What's your favorite team uh, uh, as far as the, uh, okay. the, the NHL? The Chicago. NHL. Montreal, Montreal. Who's going to win the NHL the game? Montreal. This year? Chicago. The Boston Bruins. Montreal Canadiens. Montreal. Canadian. Montreal. Montreal. Vancouver. Vancouver. Chicago. Boston. Anybody? We've got Boston. Philadelphia. Montreal. 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 Eric Lindros. <laughs> Philadelphia. Okay, who's your favorite player? Nobody can Jack. be the last. Yes. Oh, yeah, how about Justin? That's it, a tie between Joseph and We also have a tie right here. Uh, Eric Lindros and uh, Cam Neely. Who's with uh, Eric Lindros? Right, right, right here. Yeah? <laughs> you think he's a good player? Do you, how do you think he's making out this year? He's awesome. Who's your favorite player? Best, best hitter in the NHL. Best hitter in the NHL. Do you Go think he's going to get really big, like Wayne Gretzky yeah. and Mario Lemieux and all of them? Uh, about as good as uh, Mark Messier. Mark Messier, yeah. that's pretty uh, high level. Mark Messier, bomb? Bomb? What? Who's a bomb? Get more gold. Mark Messier. Better than Mark Messier. So, any one of you guys think someday you'll be playing in the NHL? Oh, they're here. Right here. Right here. Paul. That's me. Paul, what do you think, Paul? He's already been drafted. He's the NHL Junior A goaltender of the year. I see. This is one of our goaltenders. Okay. Where's Matt? Where's Matt? Matt deserves a lot of Ryan talk played about really well. But Matt deserves a lot of credit today, man. He's I'll hot in the first no, period. The camera is your friend. The camera is your friend. You're not your little friend. You're not your little friend. Mark. These are the coach by there. I think this is our last game this uh, of this season. It was a pretty good game. Did you tape it? Yeah, and it was a pretty good season. Overall, we lost against, against London, but we made up today by... I just like to state that I'm injured, okay? So, you're what you're seeing injured. on the game is, is a 70% of sensation. Oh, you're not seeing the hundred. Yeah, I'm injured too. Do you That's believe, right. Justin, that a hockey player at 15 years old should be joining uh, a health club? Or, uh, sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. 100%. Yeah, I've been working yeah, out. You think he should leave his, his Nintendo cross. game, his I've Genesis been working game, out since the age and of start yeah, doing barbells? Yeah, you bench, 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 <laughs> okay, so we've got that on camera that uh, Justin's going to be joining a health club which is going to be uh, swimming, aerobic, and uh, a lot of barbell stuff. Okay? 
heavyweight. Yeah, you can bench, bench. So you guys are, are all done for this year. You're happy. You're, who's gonna be playing ball? Nah, this guy's sure. playing ball. Yeah. The cross ball. Oh, I'm not playing ball. Not ball is for ball. whips. Oh, okay. Baseball sucks. Oh, so is Lindra. You're looking at a rugby player. A rugby too, yeah. yeah. You're looking at a game. Can you bench? Okay, what else are you going to do? Well, have a good summer. Thank you very much. You too. We had a good game. And we feel good. Yeah. Bye bye. Signing off. Signing off.